కాడు పెట్టి కల్లు రుటి మేడు బళ్ళం చెప్పు రుటి రాయికాడు వదచు వచ్చో ఇన్ ద ఫార్ సర్దన్ కార్నర్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా ఇన్ ద మాన్సూన్ నరిష్డ్ ఫారెస్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ ద వెస్టర్న్ ఘాట్ ప్లాటో లివ్స్ ద ఫార్మర్ కన్నమ్మ who was named after a goddess who protects her people like a mother satana gunam parande namma arokyata pena venunge in these fertile lands of kantalur kerala ancient agricultural knowledge has passed down generations but one crucial and nutritious superfood was vanishing from kannamma's plate millets The land that once grew 18 indigenous millet varieties was now growing only two. The major challenge the farmers were facing here was the market for their products. So that's the reason they have moved out of uh, the millet growing uh, to the other options which they found it is uh, much easier. They are not uh, interested in millet. Uh, But in outside, it has a huge market opened. But they don't know. The year 2023 was declared as the International Year of Millets by the United Nations. But in the heart of the forest, Kanamma and the farmers of her village had no idea that the world had started loving the cereal they had stopped growing. This land was unaware of the technology and its potential to reform. But one day, all that began to change. the last people kanamma would have expected representatives of a technology company walked into kantalur lenovo had started a story of transformation lenovo for its work for humankind initiative started to team up with dream india network along with support from various local bodies to revive these superfoods in kantalur I grown up in a uh, agriculture environment I know the ups and downs in the farmer's life and they are not expecting much from the society they can only ac- uh, accept the consistency value for their products I am happy to announce that I have 25 early adopter farmers who are coming forward and wanting to do millet farming We talked with the different stakeholders like the president of or the gram panchayat president the kudumbasri members who are into the farming section to the anganwadi teachers the agriculture department they said they will collaborate with us and help us to facilitate the program entire program in the community the lenovo digital center for kantalur millets was set up where lenovo volunteers and students worked together to harness the smarter technology for the revival of the millets but kanamma and her fellow 25 farmers had their own doubts How does technology help them grow and sell millets? അവർക്ക് വേണ്ടി അവരെ ഹെൽപ്പ് ചെയ്യുന്നതിന് വേണ്ടിയാണ് അവരെ ടെക്നോളജി പരമായിട്ട് അവർക്ക് റിലേറ്റഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള കാര്യങ്ങൾ നമ്മൾ ടെക്നോളജി റിലേറ്റഡ് ആയിട്ട് ഗ്ലോബലി അവരെ എത്തിക്കാനായിട്ട് ഹെൽപ്പ് ചെയ്യുക സോ ദിസ് ടെക് സെൻറ്റർ വിത്ത് ദ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ദീസ് ഫാമേഴ്സ് കെൻ ഗോ ദർ ആൻഡ് ആക്ച്വലി ഗെറ്റ് ഓൾ ദാറ്റ് ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ ഫോർ വട് എവർ റിക്വയർമെന്റ് ദാറ്റ് ദേ നീഡ് The local community and Lenovo volunteers came together and joined hands in each stage of production, marketing and value addition to the millets. Eventually, Kanamma and other farmers began to believe that what was lost was about to be revived with technology. The millet varieties that were reduced to two were now revived to six. ടെക്നിക്കൽ ആധുനിക ശൗരിത്തോടു കൂടി മാർക്കറ്റിംഗ് കൂടി ഉണ്ടാക്കി കൊടുത്താൽ കാന്തലൂർ മില്ലിട്ട് ലോകം അറിയപ്പെടുന്നുള്ളത് വാക്കാൽ മാത്രത്തില്ല Millets were now being sold at the homestays. An app is being developed at the digital center to guide farmers in the cultivation of millets. The Lenovo Kumari car came and they gave us a great deal. We were looking at it and we were looking at it and we were looking at it. 
at the intersection of tradition and technology. Kantalur is flourishing with its superfood crops. Kanamma and her fellow farmers are proud and content to have their favorite millets back on their plates. <laughs>